Avoid coming to the Parade of Homes this year until after you have watched this video. In this video, we're going to go over some of the insider tips on how to make your St. George visit for the Parade of Homes this year the most enjoyable one yet. What is the St. George Parade of Homes? So a lot of our folks that are watching this video might be confused on the Parade of Homes because some parts of our country have been developed for a while and there's not a ton of new construction happens. Southern Utah is still relatively brand new and there are a lot of custom home builders that are competing for business. Typically every, every February, the last two weeks, right here in Southern Utah, the weather is almost perfect and it's a great time for these builders to showcase their talents by building these incredible over the top custom homes that would allow you to experience what the new trends in construction are, uh, what are some of the best neighborhoods. I mean, they're, they're building their very top work. They wanna showcase and show off like to the best of their capabilities, what the they're able to- Modern build. trends in yeah. construction, uh, the most premium finishes. These homes are designed to absolutely blow your mind. So if you like to see some beautiful homes or maybe have an opportunity to walk through a $6 million home that doesn't happen on a daily basis, even for us realtors, it is a great time to come to this area and check out these homes. St. George Parade of Homes has been a Southern Utah tradition since 2012. And we have been covering that topic on our channel for how long now? How, probably the last five years. So at least the last five years. I will link the link up here if, if you didn't get a chance to come this year or if you'd like to see some of the prior homes. We have been filming as many as we possibly can. So be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell right next to it so you don't miss our future videos. So let's check out the playlist. So when does the Parade of Homes take place? So the Parade of Homes takes place February 17th through the 26th. It goes on for nine days and it starts this weekend. We're exactly two days, six hours and 25 minutes away from starting the Parade of Homes. So you can purchase your tickets at on the Parade of the St. George Parade of Homes website. We'll link their website in the description below this video. And then there's um, a local grocery store Lens. Lens that you can also purchase them at and they're $20 a piece. And usually there's a decent availability of tickets. So if you're like us and you like to do things last minute, you still drive in and typically pick them up at Lens. But I believe there's also a digital version of this ticket, which when you visit each home, it will get scanned upon entry into the house. So- Oh, and there's, that, there's an app, St. George Parade of Homes, um, an app that shows you all the homes and the directions to get there, so. So the app is, yeah, the app is very useful and uh, we'll, we'll tell you a little bit more about how to structure your time in order to best utilize it while you're here. It's actually sorted by the city. So while we're on a topic, let's take a look and see the lineup. So when you go to the official St. George Parade of Homes website, you can see the entire lineup. This year, there are 30, 31. 31 homes in this parade and they're ranging anywhere from half a million to just over 6.125 million dollars i believe is the most expensive one how long have we been filming the parade of homes we've been doing it for at least the last five years so if you'd like to see some of the prior videos we will put a card up here and a link in the description below this video so you can check out some of our prior videos or maybe if you don't get a chance to attend this year, um, make sure to subscribe to our channel and check out the other videos. We will also provide coverage for at least, I think we planned on covering at least 15 homes. It's very difficult to squeeze in that much while still being able to help our clients that are here in town and help our clients that are calling us because usually St. George real estate market tends to pick up during this time. So there's a lot happening in the life of a realtor and by the way, if you guys are thinking about moving to Southern Utah, maybe that's how you ran across this channel. Give us a call. Give us a call, send us a text. We would love to take care of you. So one tip when planning on looking at, this, at these homes, there's a drop down menu and you could narrow down these homes by the community. Like, you know, the event takes place for nine days and it does take a while to go through some of these homes. So. Um, it's mostly just because of the traffic. There's just a lot of people. The parking situation is always kind of a nightmare. 
I mean, just depending if it's a really popular home, but. If you know how to parallel park, you'll be okay. But no, we're yeah. in Utah. There's still plenty of parking. But some of the parking, like they'll have um, like golf carts that will take, help take you there. But and it happens like in Stone Cliff. Sometimes for instance, if you have, and the ledges, if you have more than one home in that community, it just brings in so much traffic. We've heard that a lot of these homes will see anywhere from 30 to 40,000 people during the parade walking through this home. Now, a lot of these homes are available for sale and some of these homes were actually built to suit and you know, the nice folks that built these homes were also interested in entering them in a parade so more people could appreciate them. But the point that I was getting to is when you plan your trip in order to best utilize your time, you can sort it by a specific community. Like for instance, St. George will have probably the most homes this year. There will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15 homes. So that's, you know, half of the homes are in St. George. In Washington, there will be just seven homes. In Hurricane, eight homes. And in Ivan's, just one. So you could use the app and the app will let you do the same thing. You can see these homes based on price ranges, based on the communities. We will be covering about 15 of them. We usually like to look at the ultra luxury stuff because a lot of our audience really loves to see these incredible homes. And we personally are a little partial to modern architecture. And if you are in town visiting for the Parade of Homes, please shoot us a text. We're gonna put our numbers right below. Just shoot us a text and let, let us know that you're gonna be in town and maybe we can go see the same homes at the same time. And, or if you're at one of the homes when we're there, please- Flag us down, yeah, say hello. Come say hello, so. Yeah, yeah. and uh, so this leads me to our next point. Where should these people stay? Because we're seeing increased traffic. Personally, if it were me, I'm a deal shopper. So I would check Airbnb. We have a lot of great local hotels, but personally, Airbnb is my favorite. Like. If I can- You find some great deals on yeah, Airbnb. Yeah, there's some awesome deals. So I would definitely check out Airbnb. So the local hotels too, like sometimes people ask us and we'll we'll put a link to um, some of our preferred hotels and you know, just through the experiences that our clients had, we haven't actually personally stayed in too many St. George hotels. We live here, but we've had great feedback from some of the hotels and we would typically recommend booking your travel further in advance so that uh, you don't have to deal with any sort of um, constraints because of people that have already booked. Airbnb usually gives you a little bit more flexibility, but I feel like this year uh, there may be a little little more availability than normal. That's true. Well, and there's, there's so many options, like with Airbnb and hotels, there's plenty of places to stay. So um, also, what should you bring to make your stay more enjoyable and more convenient? So, so there are a couple of items. Number one, I would say is comfortable shoes. Comfortable shoes that are easy to take on and off. They're small. Do not wear big boots or anything that's tough to take off and tough to carry because you will be given, you'll be given one of the two options upon entering these homes. You'll either have an option to take off your shoes or wear booties and sometimes wearing booties over certain shoes is just not comfortable from what we find uh, wearing your socks in the house is often way easier than sitting down to put on the booties and then take them off it's a matter of preference if you've experienced that before let us know in the comments do you are you are you a socks or booties kind of person and most most builders do provide the booties but we've gone to a couple homes where they did not so if you know, maybe they even you can sometimes little... give you a bag too. Yeah, and if they don't have, like, maybe you could bring your own little bag to throw them in. But usually they'll have a little bag that you can put your shoes. So in. wear some slides, slippers, shoes that are easy to take on and off, and bring a bag because that will uh, they'll, they'll they'll just make it a lot easier. It's a lot easier than just carrying it. And maybe hands. bring an umbrella just in case the weather, because last year we had some rain, we had some snow. So speaking of the weather, this is what it looks like for the week of the Parade of Homes. So yeah, starting- have some rain. So bring your umbrella. When are we gonna have rain? It looks like Wednesday the 22nd, Thursday the 23rd, and then Sunday the 26th. So three days for sure. And it is kind of a strange thing. It almost never ever snows or rains in Southern Utah. We are in high desert for whatever reason, right during the Parade of Homes for like the last few years. 
you might get a dusting of snow or typically a little bit of rain, but I actually don't mind a little bit of snow during the braid. It does make it less convenient if you're going in and out of the property, but it does, it's hard to put in words. It never happens here, so we love it. Yeah, yeah. and it looks cool yeah. um, against red rock and black lava rock. So bring some sweaters, some jackets, and... And an umbrella. Yep. You're gonna need it for at least a couple of days. And also, while you're here, if you need some ideas on best local places to eat, I've been working on putting together a list of all of our favorite local restaurants for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's a work in progress, but I've got an organized list separated by um, obviously breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and then what type of food it is. So um, if you guys are in town, just send me a text and I'll just shoot you that list over. Um, but just to name a few of our favorite, uh, personally, my favorite for breakfast is First Watch. What about what about a good steakhouse? A good steakhouse, I would say Anasazi Steakhouse. It's my favorite as well. Uh, what if you're in a mood for tacos? Tacos, um, Rock Taco on the Boulevard, St. George Boulevard. That's yeah, delicious too. Um, lately, we've been loving Indian food at Red Fort. Red Fort is incredible, but there's a strong but. If you like spicy food, they rank it one through five. I ordered five recently. I love spicy stuff and I can tolerate it. Five is too much. Yep. Stay, stay below four. Yeah, his whole face went red and I was like, are you okay? Are you gonna pass out? Yes, Red Fort is a great place to visit if you love Indian cuisine, but be careful on the spice. Folks, thank you so much for tuning in and check out this video. Be sure to subscribe to it. We will link as further on as time advances, we will link the playlist for all of the 2023 Parade of Homes videos. If you see us out, out and about, wave, say hello, holler. We love to meet our viewers because very often we meet you after the fact that you already move here, but Michelle and I are both real estate agents here. So if you're even remotely thinking about relocating into this area, give us a call, shoot us a text. We would love to be a resource to you. We would love to help you find that ideal new home in St. George. And we literally always have our phones on us. So, any time, day or night, shoot us a text and we will get right back to you. We would love to hear from you. And now that you've stuck around this long, YouTube algorithm will suggest a couple more videos right here that you might find interesting.